Today's adventure on Historic Route 66 takes us to Twin Arrows. And that's me standing by one of the arrows, which were made out of telephone poles. These arrows have been on the cover of travel books and also appear as a place to see on Historic Route 66 maps. This is what's left of the buildings, but you may know this gas station more from the movie Forrest Gump. Well, we're familiar with Monument Valley. Right before that, he discovered the smiley face in, you guessed it, Twin Arrows. That's them in the background. Just another interesting paint job. Getting late in the day, so my shadow's up there. The noise you hear is from nearby Interstate 40, which replaced Route 66. There's still an exit for Twin Arrows. Just crazy. That's the inside. And this is pulling outside. And that's Kelly walking by. I think that's his portrait on the wall. <laughs> but just crazy. studio apartment here. Ah, this looks like a... This is a stone fruit tree, maybe a peach, an apricot, something. But they've got uh, lots of Bill Cosby posters in every little place I've gone to. Are they uh, negative? <laughs> yeah, they're negative. They're not, uh, they're not PG. Boy, and this, this place is definitely... Wow. Doesn't have a lot of time left. You see the insulation hanging off the roof. The roof coming down in certain spots. The Twin Arrows Trading Post was originally called the Canyon Padre Trading Post after the gorge that runs nearby it. Gene and William Troxell renamed it Twin Arrows and ran the trading post between 1955 and 1985. The name was a play on nearby two guns. The Forrest Gump movie showed it in 1994, and apparently there was an attempt to reopen it in 95. Obviously that failed, and this is pretty much all that remains. Just broken glass. You could fall through the septic over other areas open to the ground. This looks like the kitchen where they had hot dogs and stuff. I'm not sure if these were water tanks or fuel tanks or what, but someone's had a little bit of fun with them. And I'm not sure why they're built in the bottom of the pool or if that was just a containment basin. But a strange and interesting place. Well, the Twin Arrows trading post is totally abandoned, and all that's left is dilapidated buildings and the graffiti and the remains of the pump station that were there to serve people as they drove down Route 66. It's interesting that there's still the exit on Interstate 40 for Twin Arrows. And if you take it south, this is where you end up. But if you head to the north, there's actually the Twin Arrows Casino. Yep, on this Navajo land, They've got a casino, which seems to be out in the middle of nowhere. But I guess a lot of the truckers and passers-by stop there, can get a room and have some fun in the casino. Hard to believe it can make it when not even a gas station can make it. But I hope you enjoyed the journey back in time to see Twin Arrows just always amazes me how people come and paint these old buildings. But take care. Have a good day.